I think I might have just fallen in love Takenry. Summary, Leo is an absolute idiot when it comes to flirting. But somehow it still works. Notes, this is my first time posting a fanfic on AO3, so I hope it is to your liking grinning face. Chapter 1, Notes, see the end of the chapter for notes. Chapter text, run of the mill again, Nardo, Donnie stared at me quizzically with a brow raised. What? Can't a guy just get pizza when he wants to? Yes, but not five days in a row, twice a day. Do you want me to start with how bad that is for your health? Donnie, I don't need to hear it. Look, I just have had a bit of a craving for pizza recently. I don't get the problem. I said with an exaggerated look transitioning to me pulling out my sword. Leo, is there another reason? He paused with his brow knitted. You know what? I don't care enough at the moment. Get me a non-Hawaiian pizza while you're out. Sure can do, bro. And without another word, I slice through the air to create my portal. Stepping through, I waved to my sarcastic twin. The moment I exited the portal I let out a sigh of relief since when did Donnie get so perceptive. I really thought I would have to score my way out of that one. Thank goodness he lost interest. Catching my composure I finally looked at my surroundings. The good old alleyway has become all too familiar in the past week. With an exhale of encouragement, I straightened out my casual clothes. You got this Leo. Time to turn up the charm I spoke to myself before stepping through the wall. The ambience of the restaurant was comforting and familiar. The temperature of the room warmed my body. Lively chatter filled my ears as I walked over to the skeletal silhouette. Oh, Peppino. Please find a different place to eat at such a frequency way so side as soon as he noticed my presence. Come on T.I.Q.O. You know you like it when I eat here. I liven the place up. I responded playfully. All right, all right. You can sit down where you usually sit. It's free. Don't cause a commotion. No problemo turning on my heels. I walked off to my seat as way so. Let out a tired sigh. My eyes darted around the room subconsciously as I was hoping to catch a glimpse of familiar white fur. Searching to no avail I sat down in my usual booth. I picked up the card and glanced over the menu, even though I knew it by heart. My order was going to be the same as the past few days, a Hawaiian for myself, plain cheese pizza for Donnie, some new weird combo of toppings for Mikey, and a classic pepperoni for Raph. As I was spacing out at the menu with my head resting on my hand, a sudden familiar voice rang in my ear. You're going to stare holes through the menu if you keep looking a soft voice sounded followed by a chuckle. It snapped me straight out of my mind. I looked up to meet the soft brown eyes of the person I'd come for, Yuichi Yusuji. His two snow white rabbit ears were tied back with a blue band. Like on cue, my heart started hammering in my chest. Oh, ahemo uh, sorry. I was just um, thinking of my order. Thinking of your order? Haven't you ordered the exact same thing for the past five days? Or have you finally decided to give something else a try? She pishly shrinking slightly into my shell, I responded nope, you got me, the same thing as always please, although do once again alter the toppings for Mikey's, por favor, a chuckle sounded from Yusuji, yep, I thought so, alright, I'll be right back with your order he smiled widely before walking off with his notepad in hand, I groaned internally while shrinking even further into my shell, at this point, my eyes were the only part of my face not hidden behind my plastron, way to go Leo, I couldn't help, but feel embarrassed from that interaction, not to mention the constant pounding of my heart. I just can't keep my cool around him no matter what I try. I've been coming here for five days in a row, multiple times a day. I should know how to interact with him at this point. Before I could further lose myself in my thoughts, I noticed the familiar fluffy figure moving towards my booth. I pulled myself back up to sit properly instead of slipping under the table. My head quickly snapping back out of the shell as I greeted the now nearby Yusuji. So Yusuji, you come here oft as soon as those words left my mouth I wanted to dig myself into the floor. What were you thinking? He works here, I internally yelled at myself while my head once more threatened to disappear into my shell. A burst of hearty laughter rang in my ears. Looking up I saw Yusuji trying his best to support himself on the table to stop himself from collapsing onto the floor meanwhile trying to balance the pizza in hand. Placing the fresh pizza on the table, he proceeded to use his second arm to hold his stomach. Fahaha Leo what the hell? I work ha 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 Yusuji could barely keep himself upright and couldn't form the sentences he wanted to say. It started a tiny bit of a commotion. Not like everybody started staring at us, before quickly returning to their own business after losing interest. Yusuji was still laughing, and I couldn't help but join in. Ha ha, I honestly have no ha ha clue why I said that. You have to believe me, I struggled to say in between bursts of laughter. Yusuji was still beyond himself, almost sprawled over the table at this point. After some time I finally was able to compose myself between all the laughter. Was it really that funny, Yusuji, I questioned. Yusuji barely being able to respond with words just nodded his head vigorously. Ha, huh, 
At least I embarrass myself for a good cause I smiled gently at the beautiful rabbit in front of me. After a while, he finally was able to compose himself as well. His need for was now completely ruffled, and his eyes seemed slightly moist from all the laughter. Oh, Leo, what am I going to do with you? He said in such a gentle voice that my heart sped up once more. His expression changed into an extremely sweet one as if he was looking at something he admired with all his heart. My face lit up like back when I ate those poisonous pizza puffs. Those eyes of his softened so much that I couldn't look away. I felt mesmerized. I think I might have just fallen in love with this rabbit. Notes. Yep. That was the extremely short Liasuji one shot. I hope you enjoy Grinning Face. Please let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you for reading.